welcome to Tutorial Thursday with myself and Eddie. Now, uh, today's tutorial is all about balloon balloons. making. <laughs> <laughs> balloon making, yes, balloon twisting, balloon modelling, whatever you may wish to do it. Um, you all know that I, I do this as a, a side project. But Andy would like to learn. I do, I do. When I watched your magic show the other week, I was so taken back at how creative and clever you are. And when you made the, you know, the teddy bears on Friday, I was in That's absolute, the pudsy bear. The pudsy bear. I was in awe of your skill. Like, this man is very talented. I'll give you that much. So, rather than just teach Andy, we thought you'd share. You'd like to share in the moment. So, we're going we're gonna to learn to make some balloons. Yeah? <laughs> Um, obviously, if you haven't got any balloons there with you now, that's not a problem. It's YouTube. You can watch this back as many times as you want. If we're going too quick for you, you can slow it down. You can watch it a little bit slower. All right. If I'm not going quick enough for you, speed me up. The magic of YouTube. If you want to get some balloons to have a crack for yourself, you would also need one of these pumps. This is made by uh, Qualitex. It's a two-way pump. It's a lot stronger and sturdier than the pumps that you will find in a packet of balloons when you buy them randomly on eBay or Amazon. Yeah, um, so where do you recommend buying these products from just in case the parents want to buy it? Yeah, or so the clients would like to buy it. If you, want, yeah, if you want to get some of these balloons, um, don't buy from eBay. Massively overpriced. And if they're coming from China, they're rubbish. You want to buy one of two brands. Qualitex are the world leaders or Sampatex, okay? Um, there is a little bit of shortage in the UK at the minute because Qualitex come from uh, Canada and Sampatex come from Colombia. So with COVID and shipping laws, we are, we're in the middle of a balloon shortage, believe it or not, if you never thought there was such a Who thing. Who would have thought the pandemic would have caused a balloon shortage? A balloon shortage. It is de very, getting very difficult to get certain colors in certain designs. Cool. Um, but for mm, buying these, yeah. You put the link on maybe in the... Yeah, I'll pop the link in, but you want to go, the easiest one to go to, which you won't need a trade um, registration to get. Uh, it's run by a balloon model himself. Um, Graham Lee is amazing. The, cook, the website is um, wholeballoonheart.co.uk, but I'll put the link down yeah. there, down there, okay? And then you can get the pump, get all the balloons from there. Just buy a multicolored bag. Don't need to get worried about buying individual colours. So... And is it all, do they all come in different sizes? Like, or is it one particular size? Like, how oh, long yeah. are they? Let what? me show you that there's, there's, there's loads. Okay, so you've got a 160, a 260, a 350, and a 646. Does that confuse you all? It's confused me. So. Let, yep. let me explain to you. <laughs> now, I've got a couple of stray ones down here rather than putting random ones out. So, a 160 are these skinny little ones. Okay, cool. Yeah? Yeah. And the 160 is. 60 inches long when inflated yeah. by one inch wide. Ah, interesting. The most standard common one are these. This is a 260, 60 Six inches two long, two, two inches, inches wide. wide. Okay, cool. Yeah. That makes sense now, yeah. the way you say it, yeah. Three fifties, 50, 50 inches <laughs> long, three, three inches, inches diameter, yeah. And then these bad boys, Ooh, that is big. 646. 46 six inches six and 6 inches wide. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So it's, it's the, the diameter okay. is the 6 yeah. and then the double figure yeah. is the length. Okay, yeah. cool. Yeah. So they're the, the different sizes in balloons. We're going to use 260s. I recommend that that's what you buy, 260s, because that's what most designs um, come from. So we're going to start first of all making a dock. Yeah. Cool. That's what everybody will learn to start off with. So you're going to get your 260. The first thing you will do with your 260 is stretch it because when they, because they're latex, they're not rubber. These are completely planet friendly. They're not oh. rubber. They're latex made from plant. Are they? Yeah. Wow. Okay. So it's natural rubber from a rubber plant and stuff, but okay. it's a, it's a, will, but, um, biodegradable. Biodegradable. Yeah. Good. Quicker. Than an oak leaf. Quicker than an oak leaf. Yeah, so a leaf it, from an oak yeah. tree, this will go. Really? Wow. Yeah. So, good. completely. Good the environment, so you don't feel bad about doing it either. No, you know? at all, exactly. No guilt. But because it is latex and got the rubber, when it's cold, 
could be very brittle, so you blow it with my club. So you give it a couple big stretch. It's like, warm it up. It's like exactly. warming up your muscles before you exercise. It'll be the same thing with the balloons. And then this is a two way pump. So when you go out, it blows up, and when you push it in, it blows oh, up. Amazing. And we want three pumps. Three pumps to do this for a dog. Okay, cool. We'll now choose a balloon. Okay. That's my favourite colour. <gasps> That's the same colour as um, what Zoe's wearing today. It's like a, a wild berry, I think yeah, it's, it's called. Beautiful. Okay, so I'm warming up the balloon. Stretch, is that good? That seems good, yeah. Cool. And then, like, do I have to put it down a certain length? Or no, no, it's just, just as long as you can hold it. Yeah, just hold on to it so it doesn't go flying off. One, One two, two, three. three. There you go. Okay, cool. Good job. Now, tying a knot. Lots of people might struggle with these. I tie it in a funny way, apparently. I go over my thumb, oh. over my finger, so I make a figure of eight. So I've got that. Yeah. And then I twist my fingers to give me a loop and oh. put it through. Okay, over my thumb, over my finger. Then twist my fingers, then make a loop and put it through. Oh. Did that work? I haven't quite got there yet, but I'm going to. I was trying to teach her and Sony couldn't tie knots in a balloon. I was like, oh, it's that easy. I'm sort of Oh, loop. I got it, yeah, and yeah. And apparently I'm, I'm, I'm odd. That's not how everybody That's else does not... it. Okay, I did have it and then I lost it. Over, over. And you twist Please. your fingers and you and put it through. And pull it through. I shall demonstrate again later on as we go. Cool, awesome. That is such a good, good way to tie. Brilliant. Thank you. So there we go. This will now be the classic dog. Measuring your balloon, you're going to use your fingers, but you're twisting, you're only going to use one hand. This is where everyone gets really stuck on balloon modeling, because everyone's trying to twist and then let go. But if I twist it and I let go, it comes undone. Mm -hmm. So I have a building hand, and a twisted hand. Okay. So I'm right-handed, so I'm more dexterous with my right hand. So I use my right hand to twist, and my left hand just to hold everything in place. Okay, sweet. Yeah, I'm so you left you. or right? I'm right-handed, but yeah. yeah so I'm so gonna... put your balloon this way around, because you're gonna work from the knot okay. towards the tail. Awesome. Yeah, okay. knots and tails. Start off with, let's go with a three-finger three. bubble. So we call it a three-finger bubble, because we measure three fingers long. I'm gonna pinch with my right hand, and twist with my left. And do a minimum of five twists. Pinch with your left hand. So pinch with my left hand. Left hand and twist with your right, right. hand. Yeah. Cool. Got it? Yeah. So now I'm gonna hold that bubble. So you've got to keep hold of it. And now I want two two finger bubbles. Okay. Yeah, actually okay. sorry, I want three two finger bubbles. So we're gonna make Two fingers, two. so there's my yeah. two fingers. I pinch with this hand mm -hmm. and twist with that hand. Pinch and yeah. Now, this is where people start going, ah, there's too many bubbles, how am I going to keep hold of it? I stick my uh, fit ring finger and my little finger around that first twist. Oh, yeah. I can keep, keep building up from that point. Mm -hmm. So now, two fingers, my next bubble. So I pinch with my left hand and twist with my right. And I'm going to do that a third time. Yeah. So two fingers, I pinch it and I twist it. So now I've got four bubbles. A three finger where we started. Mine are different sizes. <laughs> That's okay, mine aren't perfect. Okay, cool. But they're roughly the same. What we're going to do now is put the, this is the nose of our dog. We're going to hump. I'm sorry, okay, I'm going to. So it's three fingers. Three fingers. Twist with my right. Yeah. And then two fingers. And two fingers. Pinch with your left Pinch and twist with your right. right. Two fingers. Two fingers. Pinch, that's it. That's it. Cool. So now take your nose and put it along the remainder of the balloon. So you've got your three two finger balls up there. Okay. So you want your first, first twist, twist with your last twist. First twist. Uh, okay. So yeah. Because yep. so. that's what we're going to do now. We're going to take our first twist here to our, our last oh, twist. Okay. Yeah. And you twist amazing. them together. Oh, amazing. And then we go a little poodle head. Oh, cool. Yeah. 
Straight away, got it. It's coming together. Now it's time for the neck. I'm going to go with three fingers again. Yep. Pinch with the left hand. Twist to the right. Now a lot of people when we're balloon modelling would have thought you blew to the end, but mm. what you notice now is the air is getting pushed into that space. Yeah. Yeah. If you blow to the end, you've got nowhere to build. Now for the legs, we're not just going to put legs on, we're going to put legs and little pom-pom paw feet, so it's like a proper poodle. So we're going to put three fingers, pinch and twist, and then a little one finger twist. Three fingers. So I've got three for the neck, yeah. three for the first leg, and then a one finger bubble. Then a second one finger bubble, so basically I'm just pinching it. And now, I'm just going to make sure that my legs are the same size. So I turn my balloon over. So, it looks like that. So you've got your feet side by side. Feet side by side. So, this way. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter which way, but you want this balloon alongside your leg. No, wrong way. So look, leg remaining in balloon. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so what we're going to do now, now that you've got your first leg and your remaining balloon, to make sure they're the same length, you just grab them and okay. twist them together. Awesome. There you go, come along nicely. Yeah, probably could have made that a, a, a four finger leg, but that's fine. It's a bit long sided. We're now going to put the body in. So I'm going four fingers for my body. So they're quite long dog poodles. Yeah. Yeah, four fingers, pop it in. And now we're going to match how we did the legs. So we want them the same size. Three fingers, one finger, one finger, and match up the second leg. You okay then? Yeah. So then four fingers ready? Yep. Yeah. So three fingers, let one leg. Then a one finger foot foot. And a one finger foot. Yeah. Now take the remainder of your balloon and measure it up to your back leg. And so they're the same. Pinch the remainder of the balloon. So this is, see that guys? Three fingers there, one finger there, one finger there. And then to get this remainder of the balloon to match the back leg, I pinch it and twist it straight in the back leg. And then let it, oh, she's going good, she's going good. Now here's a little trick. When you give this to somebody, they're going to run off and play with it. Well, this twist can come out the back, so we, go, we have to lock it in. And to lock it in, you take the tail, mm -hmm. and you're going to push it through the back legs. So what I do is, I turn it this way around so you guys can see. I pull the legs apart with my fingers, swivel around, yeah. and then I make sure you put your thumb on top, because you don't want this filling up with any more air. Okay. I push down on the tail and push it through the legs, put it out the other side. That is now locked in, it's nice and secure. There we go. How cool is that? That's a poodle. But the one thing that's missing off this poodle is what everybody knows a poodle for. Okay? Pom pom on the tail. So, Andy. Yeah. Can you give me a little bit of your your Aussie charm and blow on the tail for me, please? <gasps> there we go. That's how you do it. Just blow on the end and you get your pom pom tail. <laughs> yeah? Now, I actually need Professor Brannan in here to explain it to you because that's science, that's a vacuum. What you're actually going to do, you can do it for them, is you put the twist off a little bit of the tail at the end to cause a chamber. Just put a little twist in. Yeah. Little twist? Yeah. Now you're going to close the end of that bubble off a little bit and take a pinch and stretch it. So this is all now very tight, so you need to close it with one hand. Close it with one hand. And stretch it with the other hand. Okay. okay, so close with one, not the very tip. Oh, okay. Because that's where you want the air to go oh, to. Right, of course. So now you stretch it, turn there so they can see. This bit is now tight. The air can't sit there, but this is loose. You're going to squeeze this, and all that air is going to go. Oh, I need to get out of it. There's no room, and it gets dragged along there and goes into the free space at the end. So if you squeeze this really tight with your hand, squeeze all the air out of that bit that you've made. This bit. Yeah, squeeze it. Just. Boom. <laughs> Here we go, we try again. So 
Amateur, surely. It's okay, this is proof proven that everybody can do it. So we put the twist in, yeah? I now hold that in my hand, so when I squeeze it quickly and sharply, it's gonna come through. But I've got a little pinch there, so I restrict the air going through, stretch it out, and then squeeze the sand, ah. and I push the air to the end of its tail. Amazing, thank there you, Aiden. There we go, and you've made yourself a poodle. <gasps> Simple as that. Oh my life, that's amazing. I've always, always wanted to do that, so thank you. There you go, no problem. And then if you want to draw on it and put a face on it, even extra charming. But there's your basics. That's that's the standard thing that you, you learn when you make balloons. But what would you really like to make handle? Oh gosh. How about a crown? A crown? A crown. Easy. Is that cool? That's easy. Let me see if That's I've got... easy. Oh, okay. Let me think of something easy. more difficult for you then. How about gold a for your crown? crown. Gold for your crown. Thank what you. other colour would you like in your crown? Oh, let's maybe get that pretty colour. That ruby colour was nice. The one you just used? Yeah. There we go. Like the Queen has, I swear she has a ruby crown. So you need two balloons for making a crown. One to go around and one to go up and down. Um, so, take an orange one. And the yellow one. So, first thing first, blow up your first balloon, which is going to be my yellow one. I'm going to give it oh, one, two, three, four, five blows. Yeah, so it's about what we call five fingers at the end. If I can reach that far, four fingers a little bit hanging over would be five fingers. Should I use my gold balloon, my, my ruby balloon, magenta or gold? Use your magenta, because that could be like the coloured fur around your head, oh, and then the gold bit that goes up and down. Love it. Yeah? Okay. Now, when you blow your balloons up, I forgot to say it last time, just let a little bit out from this end, we just winged it, because then they're nice and even. You will always find there's a lot more air here, Three, four, the first bit that five. you pumped it up. Yeah? So, here's how I tie a balloon again. Over my thumb. Put my finger on top and I bring it over. Now, here's the trick of it. I twist my fingers. It makes me a big gap to pop my... Uh, my that is life-changing, that technique. Yeah, apparently I'm odd. No one else did it like that. that Somebody is. else must do it because they taught me. So this is going to go around our head. All right? But don't do that just yet. We're going to let it cheat. We're going to stretch it first of all because we want it to be a bit longer. And we want it to be nice and supple. So... We do want to work out where the front is. So you see, I've got loads of overhang there. So this is going to be definitely the front of my crown. Because we're going to work and tie in our second balloon at the front there. And pop it this so I can see roughly where my front is. Leave a mark. So that can go, actually, it's the uh, for that side. So where would you say would my front would be here? Yeah, so it needs to be. Like no, maybe you want it to have a big overlap at the back. So yeah, that's great. What you've got in the front now will be your front. Okay. Yeah. So then I do this side. Do I just say? Yeah, just pop a little twist in there, roughly, and then let it go. It's fine. Okay. It's got cool. a little mark okay, there for so you to work up. Oh wow. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Now you're gonna take your second balloon. How do you? Wow. Static sticks to the wall. Balloon magic. Balloon magic. Balloon Look magic. Look at that. There we go. So take your second balloon. One, two, three, four. I'm going to go four this time because I'm going to put a lot more okay. twist in this one. Wind it at that end a little bit. Knot it. it. Needs to be a little bit supple, so I do it a bit stretch and I wait for Andy. Okay. Four so counts. Yeah. One, two, three, four. Oh, go, go a bit more. Go, go a bit more. Because you, you, your okay, air was yeah. coming out as you were pumping. Okay. I'll give you a really special one. Proper gold. It's proper gold. That's solid, it's a solid gold balloon, this one. 24 carat magic. <laughs> yeah. There you go. I'm not holding it enough. Do I need to do it again? Because you're using the chrome balloons. They're, um, oh. they're a bit, bit more difficult to do play with. Do you need any more air than that? We'll we, we work with that. That'd be we'll fine. We'll work with that. Okay. We'll work with that. I need to get some air out still, though. Um, no, no, you won't. No, no you won't. Because okay. you've got loads to travel through. You really want to push it along what you've got. Give myself some more room to tie. Do you want me to knot it? It's a bit no, tricky. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that one's a little bit. You've got loads here, yeah. Thank you. 
Thank you. Oh. Thank you. There we go. Thank you. Now we're going to go back to our first balloon. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Layden, I'm sorry. It's okay. I can use that colour. That's when, fine. Yeah. This is a that's, good. This is a good one. This is very nice. There you go. Do you want me okay. to blow the knot it for you? You're good to go. You don't trust me to do it. No, just. <laughs> well, it's actually not a very nice balloon, but we've blown it up now. Oh, no, I like that. That's do you like it? Okay. Yeah, I like that. That's yeah. nice. I can't believe we just popped that. I can't like this, I tell you. There you go, back there should be fine for you. So what we're going to do now, we're going to do something called a pinch twist. So you're going to pop your twist in it. You're using this. Using using the, the, yeah. yeah. We're going to weave balloons in together. I forgot where my mark was. Anyway, there, so I'm going to be working from here. Yeah, so it's going to be at my throat. That's why I'm waiting for. Yeah, from yeah. there. Okay. So, I've worked out that when I put this on, that's kind of like the front of my head for the crown to start. I'm going to make a two finger bubble. Like that. And then put my balloon together. So I've got the bubble at the top. This is called a pinch twist because you're going to get your bubble, you're going to pinch it, and you're going to pull it away and twist. So you get that. All right. Now this is going to cause to build the foundations for the crown to go up and down across the front of your head. Oh, wow. So space out, sort of like three fingers, then another little two finger bubble. Yeah. yeah. And we're now going to put another pinch twist in. Okay. Yeah. There's your first bike that we've done. It's a bit young, a little bit more air. Stand by. Yeah. That looks like you've twisted. Are oh, you taking it out? I'm just, yeah, because it's a okay. different size. So she's, un right. she's unraveling. She's, as you've seen from Bake Off, perfection. Nothing slapdash will do for our Andy. I'm scared I'm going to pop it every time. It's the hardest thing when you're doing balloons is to learn to get over that fear. So now let's have like our first little spike okay, on our crown. Cool. Oh the, wow. This is going to be the big one at the front. Okay. It's always the showpiece. So I'm going to make that look longer. So I did three fingers, now I'm doing four fingers. Four fingers. Pop a pinch in it, give it a twist. Then do a two finger bubble. Pinch it and twist it. And now we're coming to the end of the crown, so I need to mirror what I've got at the beginning. A three finger bubble. A two finger bubble. Hold it over. And the third. Oi! It happens to us all. Okay? If this happens, don't give up. Okay? I'm not going to start again. I'm going to tie a knot in that. Mm -hmm. to go on. Yeah, time not in that. That's not lost. I've done all the hard work. This balloon's still good. It's not shredded. With what I need it for, it'd be perfectly fine. Uh, no wastage, I love like yeah. that. Pennies. As a balloon artist, you go, oh, that's popped. I'll throw it away. But like that, that's perfectly usable. It'll do exactly what I need it to do. And it saves me spending out on another balloon. So where was I? I'm doing two fingers. Two fingers. Sorry, three fingers. Three then two. And then my two finger bubble. So there we go. This is what you have now. All right, it doesn't matter about the ends too much. You got three fingers, four fingers, three fingers, and four pinch twists. Now, you bring in your other balloon. Take your knot and you're going to put it into the pinch twist. In fact, literally, I just stretch it and pop it into the pinch twist. And then I'm going to wrap around the pinch twist to make sure it's nice and secure. And then just twist it as you wrap it around. 
There you go. Okay. Now, it's really how extravagant you want your crown to be. Well, I'm gonna go four fingers, and I'm, repeat, I'm basically now repeating what I did at the bottom. Long bubble, pink, uh, two finger bubble, long bubble, all the way around. So my two fingers, yeah. pinch twist it, and then mirror it, are you there? And mirror it to the previous bubble to make sure it's the same length, put a twist in it. And what I'm gonna do once I've got that bubble, mm -hmm. are you with me? Yeah. Is I'm now gonna twist that in to the second base pinch twist. I only need to go around once. I've wrapped it into there. Oh, cool, okay. You're wrapping into here. Here, yeah. So twist as you wrap. Twist so, as I wrap. So which way were you twisting your bubble? Were you, which were you twisting? Yep, yeah. so, yeah, that's fine then. Put it on top. Put it there. And then pull that twist um, in, okay. like that. And that's it, oh, done. Okay, cool. So now, for the centerpiece, I need it to be longer than my first up and mm -hmm. down. So that's, I'm going to go a little bit bigger, I'm going to go, so that's like two fingers bigger than my first spike. Two finger bubble, pinch twist, match it up to the side of my previous bubble. So can you guys see there? I'm holding it alongside, I'm sizing it up, I'm pinching it and twisting it. So, oh, that's actually short. How did that happen? So I've pinched and twisted, so they are now the same size. I take that bubble along to the next pinch twist, and I twist, and that will take it, basically walk it around, and that's where my other balloons really link together, which makes it extra secure. And then I take it over to here. Yeah. Have you already put your... Oh no, you've twisted it. I've twisted the wrong thing. Yeah. Oh, Andy. But don't panic. Andy. That's all nice and secure. Okay, yeah. Inflate this and save it. Cool. Awesome. I like this. You just have to become adaptable, don't you? Adapt yeah. to the situation at hand. Now, if you were watching somebody else teach you on YouTube and stuff, they'd be like editing that, Is that out. Enough for That's you? plenty. That's yeah. plenty. Cool. They'd be editing this off and moving on and going, oh, it's perfect. Things don't pop. We're dealing with balloons. They do pop. Yeah? So they're not going bang and they're not scaring us, they're just going Pfft. Yeah? Do you want to hand time that? It is hard to time, or it's not hard, but it's when harder it's when you haven't got that little nibbly bit on there. Yeah. Do it. Got it? No. <laughs> Thank you. And all you want to do is pop that in to here. here and take it around two or three times and that okay. make the where it's popped extra secure so it'll stay inflated and twist it twist that way so roll it as roll you it. So roll this middle part roll that roll the balloon, roll the balloon okay. and just take it around because then it basically walks itself around okay yeah and then you're not putting extra stress on the awesome. the balloon perfect and then i'll do the bigger part yeah that, the big part there we go. So Andy's just doing this bit again. Two, Two. fingers. She's now doing that bit. So put your pinch twist in. Oh, yeah. And then, and then size it up. So you're not going to twist this in. You want to just measure, measure that they're the same size. Yeah. And when you've got okay. the same size, put a twist in it. And now push that in and keep rolling it and it'll walk itself around. Oh, see. Yeah. Should I just do the top part? Yes, yeah, so you want it into the top of the balloon. So put it there. And then if you roll it's the balloon, or oh, going the wrong way, so what you do is you want to go this way. You roll the balloon, it will roll itself yeah. in and around. Awesome. It just takes the strain out of the work. Okay. Yeah, so what I'm saying is if you try and push your balloon, let me get to that point, four fingers, two fingers, pinch twist. Here we go. So when you're trying to get this balloon into that balloon, don't try and do this. Don't try and go and push it through, you're putting straight in the balloon. 
I literally follow the direction I was twisting. So I'm twisting towards myself. I put it next to the balloon I want it to go into. As I twist, the balloons will grip each other and they will basically put themselves into place. By just twisting this balloon, it works. Right. Now here's the fun bit. Are you there? Yeah. So what you need to do now, you don't, we don't need that. That's spare. It's too much. So what you've got to do is you've got to get rid of it. So take that balloon away. Cool. Don't need that. Tie a knot in the last bit that's left over. And hide it in the twist. Now, I don't expect you to snap it off like that. I just like to show off. Yeah, it's my moment of glory because everyone gets surprised. Just like Andy did. Get a pair of scissors and just snip it. But... If you do want to do what I did, so. can I demonstrate yeah, over the trophy? Yeah. If you want to do, I'm going to have to turn around so you can sit on the camera. If you want to snap it with your hand, you're basically going to get the balloon and put your thumbs into the balloon. Now, what I'm doing is I'm pushing that thumb down into this hand as this hand grips and pulls apart. So that's going to do that into the balloon, and this one. It's pulling that way and it just takes them apart. There you go. So you tie a knot into that and take it away. I'm actually going to come and steal that little bit of gold because we can use it as a highlight. If you've got any scraps left over and you want your crown to look a little bit more magical, Inflate them, pop a little knot in them. Any little bits of scrap balloon like that. You take on a little got a bit of gold as well. So there's your crown. What you now need to do is just wrap it around your head. It's a very Statue of Liberty style crown. Now, I'm going to bend down and show you kind of blonde. So the balloon overlaps. What you need to do is twist it together. Like so. It's now secure. To make sure it's totally secure, Pass them through the middle and out to the side, and they're locked in. And that's it. That's your crown. So when it's down, it's going to look quite right. But once you put it on, a little bit of repositioning. There you go. There's a crown. King and queen. Happy days. Queen and, we're the king and queen of cube. Welcome to the cube empire. <laughs> so... There you go, I hope you've enjoyed that guys. I hope you had a little bit of fun, there to play along with us. Remember, check down the link below. I'll pop in there a, a great place to buy your balloons. And they actually, since lockdown started at the back end of point one, lockdown 2.0, they're doing them. If you're into this, they're making gift boxes with balloons and instructions all pre-packaged. So maybe give one of those a go. Like I said, that's run by Graham Lee, is an amazing uh, balloon artist. Check out his page and see some of the stuff he's created. It's absolutely insane. Um, about as good as Andy's going to be in a couple of weeks' time. And I keep practising. Yeah. Thank you, Laden, so very much. I've learned so much today. Yeah, you're welcome. Uh, you. If you've enjoyed it, leave us some comment. Oh, you can't comment on YouTube anymore. Oh, you can't. No, oh. comment on Facebook if you enjoyed it. We'll make you another one. And um, show we'll, us what you've made as well. Yes, show yeah. us your creations. Most important. Show us your creations. Um, maybe we send something out to you. And suggestions as well, like of what you want us to make in the coming weeks. Yeah. What do you reckon? That's a good show. As you're teaching me, like maybe they've got something that they want us to make and we could do that. And I can teach Perfect. you how to do it, or teach you how to do it. There's your comments then. If you like it, get to Facebook, comment that you've enjoyed it, tell us what you're making, and then tell us what you want Andy to learn to make. Yeah. And I will teach her, so I will do what we've just done, but in your designs, whatever you want. What can they think is like the craziest things? Like, are we, are we? Do you know what? If we make 
one of their designs, we'll make it and we'll deliver it to them. Amazing, perfect. So you, you're not going to win amazing prize, you're going to win me. A visit from us. Yeah, you're going to win a visit from us. Yeah, the cube, yeah, the cube empire will come out to you. We'll deliver your creation to you. Perfect. Um, you may win, you may lose, it depends on what Andy does. <laughs> no pressure, guys. Brilliant. So, Perfect. Thank you. Cube. I didn't do a cube properly then. <laughs> cube love. Yeah. <laughs> See you later, guys. Bye. Bye.